Cold Season family. ColdSeason.com for that merch. 10% of all sales go to our Feed the Homes program. All you got to do is go to ColdSeason.com, pick out a merchandise item, add the item to your shopping cart, and you're helping us feed the homeless, and we truly appreciate all the support. If you're looking for a job opportunity, making additional income from home, teaching financial education, no financial experience needed. We change from A to Z. Go to HumbleInvestors.org for more information. Go to HumbleInvestors.org for more information. All my contact information and everything is on the website. If you want to purchase the new book, Tobacco is Haram, it is available on Amazon. Tobacco is Haram by Jalen Davis on Amazon.com. We back, baby. Cold Season Podcast, Episode 2. The best 15 minute podcast in the game. Quick podcast. We in and we out. I'm saying kind of like the short book we just wrote. 35 pages. Tobacco is haram. A great read. Challenge the mind. Unlock more of your brain. 100% of your brain. Tobacco is haram. By Jalen Davis on Amazon.com. Today's topic that I would like to get into with you guys is the quality over quantity or the quantity over quality debate. And it really stems down to a lot of people saying, oh yeah, well, you know, I want I want quality, I want quality over quantity. <laughs> well, in order to even get quality, you must understand what quality is and you can't understand what quality is if you haven't been through quantity you know quantity basically as in multiple quality as in quality of what we're talking about now we could be talking about basketballs You know, you might be playing basketball, and you might be a collector. I know if you go to different amusement parks and you play the little basketball game, you shoot the basketball, you make the basket, you can get a collector's basketball. Now they got some cheap raggedy looking ones, and there's some cool sick looking ones. But you're not gonna know which ones have better quality without seeing the multiple in the quantity. Now, we don't have to just think about basketball. This can be about anything. You know, let's go to music for a second. You might make, you know, I put it like this. The person who makes 50 songs is going to benefit more than the person who only made five songs. You know, the person who made 50 songs, they might make them songs in, you know, five, ten minutes. You know, it might be real quick and easy for them to make that. And the person who made five songs, they figure they were a little bit slower. They took their time. They want to say, oh, you know, I prefer quality over quantity. Well, if you're not putting in enough work, you're not putting in enough numbers, you're not going to know what quality is. That person who made 50 songs, I guarantee you, He can go through that 50, or she can go through that 50, and be like, okay, yeah, this is a good one. Oh, yeah, this is a good one. This is a good one here. And you're going to find the quality out of the quantity. But if you just have those five songs, you're not really, you don't really know what quality is. You haven't really been through enough. You haven't worked enough. You haven't experienced enough. You know, same thing. You know, with food, the dating scene, and a bunch of other different shit out here where people like to, you know, try to put quality over quantity. And uh, you need quantity to even have quality. And that's what people don't really understand. You know, it's like people that want that, you know, that instant gratification or instant, you know, satisfaction of wanting to succeed but not put in the work to succeed, you know, people just 
think, oh, yeah, you know, I, I want the best or I want to, you know, they feel like they're entitled or they feel like they deserve things when, you know, people just aren't out here putting in the work. People ain't out here putting in the work. They're not out here grinding. And that is really the problem. You know, people want results, but they're not willing to put in the work to get the results. You got to get up. You got to grind. You got to want it. <laughs> you have to go through shit. You have to fail. You have to learn from your failures. You have to learn from your mistakes. They're not L's. They're lessons. You have to treat them as lessons. If you don't treat them as a lesson, you don't learn from it, then yeah, you will lose. You take those L's. You treat it as a lesson. You learn from it. You get better. And you move the fuck on. You know? can dwell on the past. Of course you want quality. Of course you want quality. But you can't have quality. You ain't going through the quantity. Hmm. <laughs> Let me hit this drill real quick. We're still smoking cereal milk. You know, 32% THC. Hybrid, indoor. Everybody wants quality. But you can't have proper quality if you haven't been through the quantity. Mm. Shout out to Myron from Fresh and Fit. You know, Myron does a lot for the, the male community out here. Teaching men to stay fit. Teaching men to use your brain, basically, and be smart out here. Because there's a lot of people out here that ain't using their brain, thinking of something else. Not being smart. People out here being simps. People out here being retarded. Stop simping. Anyway, let's get back to it. In order to have quality, you must go through the quantity. So the same quality over quantity is just about retarded. You know? I don't believe in perfection. I believe there's always room for improvement. Therefore, nothing can be perfect. There's always room for improvement. So, how do you get to the quality? How do you how do you get to the quantity to get to the quality? You know, it's all through the experience. And as you go through these experiences, you gain experience. And if you're able if you're able to learn from your lessons, your person, and your person that, you know, applies what they learn, because knowledge is useless if not applied, you know, knowledge is power, but it's useless if it's not applied. So if you're able to apply the knowledge you've learned from the lesson of all of the quantity you just went through, you can gain wisdom. So through those experiences, you can gain wisdom. And when you gain wisdom, you're able to decipher the quality out of the quantity. And when you're able to decipher the quality out of the quantity, you're truly unstoppable. So, how can one say? quality over quantity when you need the quantity to get to the quality <laughs> people need to stop trying to take shortcuts and you must work put in the rounds put in the rounds work make mistakes learn from them get better and keep fucking grinding that's what it's gonna take that is what it's going to take. You have to want it. Have to want it and you cannot be lazy. Do not be a lazy piece of shit. Do not be fat. There's no need to be fat if you're a man. You need to get up, grind, go fucking walk, jog, and start sprinting, motherfucker. You need to get up and get after it. If you feel like you're hella skinny and you want to put on some weight, then goddamn it, eat and start doing your goddamn push-ups. Stop complaining about, oh, I have a fast metabolism. Motherfucker, I have a fast metabolism and I smoke weed, motherfucker. But I'm still getting up and doing my push-ups. I'm running. I'm fucking getting it in. What the fuck is your excuse? There is no excuses out here. You got to get up, get after it, and put the fucking work in. I know you want it, so get up and get after it. 
What the fuck are you sleeping all day for? There's no need to sleep all day. That is pure laziness. The ones who fucking sleep, a little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands, and poverty will creep upon you in the night. It says it in the goddamn Bible. So why are you sleeping all day? You're not going to get to no money. You can't complain about being broke if you're sleeping all day. You're a grown-ass man. What the fuck are you sleeping for? You're not a goddamn bear. You don't need to fucking hibernate. You need to get off your fucking ass and get to work. Fucking sickening, you motherfuckers that are grown-ass men and want to fucking take naps in the day. That shit sounds so gay. Like, what the fuck are you doing, like, trying to take naps throughout the day? Motherfucker, get up and get after it and go to work. Oh, they're going to cancel me. I threw the G word in there. But I really don't give a fuck. You know, God made Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. So you're tripping off of my podcast, you can bounce, you know. I don't hate nobody, but just keep certain shit away from me. You know what I'm saying? But we got to work. We got to grind. We watch this or we listen to this podcast and take notes because... I already know this message went over a lot of your heads. But you can definitely find the quality out of the quantity. And you'll be able to learn how to decipher it. You just need to rewatch this podcast a couple times. So it can really get into your brain. And you'll be able to really think about the scenarios. Put them together. And then make it happen. But there is no reason for you guys to not be working, grinding, and getting to the next level. Stop being lazy. That laziness is shit. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to make no money being lazy. You're not going to make no money taking naps all day. This is the Cold Season Podcast. We do have a Feed the Homeless program where we go out and feed the homeless. If you want to be a part of our program, help us feed the homeless. All you have to do is go to coldseason.com, pick out any merchandise item, add that item to your shopping cart, and purchase that item. And whatever your total is, 10% of the sale goes to the Feed the Homeless program. And we appreciate all the support. Remember, if you are looking for a remote job from home, Teaching financial education. No financial experience needed. We train you from A to Z. We're in the life insurance business, but we're in the financial industry because we focus on cash value life insurance. Most of you don't know the difference between the old life insurance and the new life insurance. The old life insurance is just your traditional death benefit, and that's it. The new life insurance is cash value life insurance with living benefits. So if you get sick, stroke, heart attack, cancer, anything like that, you can access your death benefit and pay for your medical expenses. But also with cash value life insurance, you have that savings account component, especially if you're utilizing index universal life insurance. You know, your bank account, you're not doubling your money ever. You're getting like 0.001% of your money. It's not going to grow. But with Index Universal Life, you get into an account that's growing from 7 to 10% consistently every single year. Your money's going to be doubling every 7 to 10 years. And you're going to be able to start utilizing that for retirement. People are putting their money in 401ks, but the 401k is up against the stock market. It's heavily taxed federally and by the state. So when the market crashes, your money, you're, you're losing your hard-earned money. And, you know, you can't fucking live like that. How are you going to retire if you don't even have a stable retirement plan? Especially if you have a 401k. You're going to get hit by all the taxes and penalties. And you're going to get hit by the stock market and lose all your hard-earned money. Reallocate that 401k into Index Universal Life where your money is protected and umbrella under life insurance. So you will never lose a dime. And it's going to grow every 7 to 10 years, multiplying your money, generating in your sleep. Learn more about that at HumbleInvestors.org. That's where my contact information is. We can get in touch. I'll see you guys on the next pod.